as fall progresses, the Chile Pekin is putting on a nice little display. It's just completely smothered in peppers. Get my hand in there. You can see this is a pretty large bush, about two and a half foot tall, and about the same in diameter. This one's growing in mostly, I would say, probably no more than about four hours of sun. And during the summer, of course, it gets more, but uh, this time of the year, it's getting about four hours. I guess while I'm out here, I might as well just discuss a little bit like a grow guide. I don't know if I'm the best person. I'm kind of experimenting with it. I've tried planting it from seed. I've tried uh, four inch pots. I've tried growing them as big as two gallon pots uh, before putting them in the ground. The challenge that I have is the the cold temperatures, the winter time. I, I've noticed they tend to die back if it gets cold enough. It, basically the plant will be killed back to the ground. It, it will come back uh, in the spring but all that growth, like what you, what you see here, uh, you could potentially lose it if it gets cold enough. So the reason why I've been experimenting by putting them in pots is to try to see if it gives them a little bit of resistance because I've noticed that, I don't know if you can see it, the stems, uh, as they age, they get woody. I'll try to get this camera in there for you. You can see that they're woody as opposed to green and, and fleshy and the woody stems tend to have a bit more resistance to the cold and this this area that I have it planted has uh, a little bit of shielding from the worst of the cold uh, I guess you could call it a microclimate I have a few spaces like that uh, in my garden that uh, no matter how cold it gets it's always a little bit warmer I guess while I'm here I'm going to take a picture of the Wild Rocket, Arugula, it's flowering. Anyway, so other than that, I mean, it, it grows in just about any condition, uh, clay, uh, straight up compost, um, a lot of water, very little water. Uh, I, I get the best results if I uh, just moderate water, you know, don't, uh, Probably just a, a little bit more than what we we get in, in the in the in the rain in North Texas cross timbers region, which is be around 40 inches a year. So uh, probably this plant would need about uh, what you would get in a rainfall area around 50 inches a year. It probably grows without any supplemental water, I would imagine. Um, it, and like I mentioned, the cold temperature is anything below 20 degrees. You have, you stand a chance that it could kill the the the, the the green portion above the ground but it'll it'll sprout back so and in this particular location it's it's a it's a clay mix on the soil so it uh it doesn't care too much about drainage but i have noticed of course like most plants if you if it has really good drainage and a lot of water of course it's going to grow better it's going to grow bigger and i think this one grows better here because it had more shielding from the the worst of the texas sun in the summertime and uh, the, of course that and the, and the extra clay component in the soil tends to hold on to water a little bit better so so far that's my experience that's what i've uh that's what i've been doing with the potted situation to see if we can give them a little bit more resistance and we'll we'll keep track of it during the winter and see how it goes see how they come through in the spring so this particular plant is one of four other ones that I have in the ground and I have several other in pots because it, it it's a very prolific seeder and it where I have it in ground it would drop seeds and no matter how you know uh, uh, how careful I am about harvesting them they still fall on the ground and they sprout uh, pr pretty easily so uh, I would dig those up and pot them up and, and trying to find places for them but uh, so that that's one good thing about this plant is that it uh, self seeds pretty easily, and if you have enough space to dedicate to it, you could just have a, a big patch of it, and that might help uh, produce yield uh, if it dies back in the winter. So I think that about covers it all. Uh, uh, it's an extremely easy uh, uh, to grow plant in the cross timbers area of Texas for sure. Uh, it's uh, drought tolerant, but of course the more water you give it, the more yield and growth you'll get. 
Uh, it can grow in a variety of soil types from clay to sandy. Uh, but of course, any type of rich, well-drained soil, it's obviously going to grow better. You get more yield. Uh, the winter time, you have a potential for any growth you have to die back to the surface. Uh, but it will sprout back on its own, making it perennial in this zone. I'm in zone 8, 8A uh, in the cross timbers. So it'll, it can die back, but it'll, it'll come back. Uh, but if you uh, uh, want to try to prevent that from happening, uh, we'll, we'll see if my experiments uh, play out. But what I'm trying is to see if I can get some mature uh, woody uh, bark growth on the stem and see if that helps. Because I've noticed that the ones I have in ground tend to sprout back from the woody growth part because that tends to survive the winters better. Planting it in a location that's a little bit of a depression, a little bit of a microclimate, a little bit warmer, a little bit sheltered. And we'll see if we can have some success in, in, in getting some of that green to survive the winter. Plus, it, it has winter tolerance. I don't want to make it sound like it's a, it's a complete wimp in the winter. Uh, I would say once you get down below 20 degrees, though, that's, that's where you're going to start seeing the dieback for sure. At least in my experience, that's what I've seen. So uh, that covers your winter growing conditions. And in the summer, like any plant in the summer, as long as you can avoid the, the worst, heaviest rays in the middle of the day uh, and make sure that it, uh, even though it is drought tolerant, uh, if you want to have heavy yield, you know, you'll have to give it some supplemental water unless you, you're, you live in an area that gets about 45, 50 inches of rain or more a year. And uh, other than that, uh, it should grow pretty well for you. I think that's a good summary and... Uh, you know, hopefully you, uh, you, you see to putting this plant in your yard instead of grass. All right. Have a good one, folks.